Welcome to the Listening Time Podcast. Hey everybody, this is Connor and you're listening to episode 88 of the Listening Time Podcast. I hope you're all doing well. I want to say thank you to all of my members, super members, family members, and VIPs. Thank you all for supporting me and helping me do what I do, helping me uh, create this podcast and all of the content that I make. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you'd like to support me or if you'd like my specialized training and other bonus content, then sign up to become a Listening Time member or any of the other tiers uh, using the link in the episode description below this episode. That's patreon.com slash listening time. And specifically, if you want my advanced podcast episodes, then make sure to become a Listening Time family member or VIP, and you'll get two new advanced episodes every month. And if you'd like to ask me questions regarding English or language learning, then you can become a Listening Time VIP to ask me questions every week, and I'll answer those questions in a weekly Q&A session, uh, a video where I answer all of your questions. So sign up today if you're interested in that. And remember to follow me on Facebook and use all the content that I post on there. It's all free. So click on the Facebook link in the episode description to follow me there. All right, in today's episode, we're going to talk about fast food. This is a good topic because I think all of us have eaten fast food, or maybe we have the habit of eating fast food on a regular basis. So uh, I'll talk a little bit about that today and about uh, different things related to that topic. And remember that you have the transcript available for this episode. That's in the episode description down below. So click on that and use that to help you understand everything that I'm saying. And your goal should eventually be to understand this whole episode without using the transcript. So repeat it as many times as you need with or without the transcript until you can eventually understand everything. And if you like this podcast, please give it a five-star rating and write a review and share it with anyone else you know who's learning English and help this podcast grow. All right, let's get started. Are your ears ready? You know what time it is. It's listening time. Okay, let's talk about fast food. So first of all, I want to talk about the difference between fast food and junk food because many of my students confuse these two phrases, these two terms, and they use the word junk food when they really want to say fast food. So fast food refers to these restaurants like McDonald's or Burger King or places like that uh, where you can go in, get your food really fast. It's not really a sit-down restaurant. Uh, you can sit down in there, but they don't serve you with waiters or waitresses or anything like that. You just order at the counter and then they give you your food and then you take it to your table. In English, when we use the word counter in this context, we're talking about the place where you order your food or you buy something where you uh, pay for it. So the cashier is usually at the counter. Uh, that's where the cash register is. So that's where you pay and they give you your food or your item whatever it is that you bought. So in fast food establishments, you pay at the counter and then they call your name or your number and you come get your food and then you can either take that to go or you can eat that there. 
In English, when we use the phrase to go in this context, we're talking about uh, ordering food and then taking that to your home, not eating at the restaurant. We say, I'm ordering that to go. So you can either order something for here or to go. If you travel to the US, these are the two phrases you'll hear a lot at any type of restaurant, especially a fast food place. They'll say, would you like that for here or to go? Okay, so uh, a lot of people eat fast food at the restaurant and a lot of people also order it to go. It just depends on people's uh, preferences. So uh, this is fast food. That's what I'm referring to when I say fast food. Junk food, on the other hand, this is food that isn't good for you. Any food. And usually we uh, use this term to refer to processed food that you might buy from the store, like a bag of chips, for example, or a chocolate bar or something like this. Um, junk food is just any food that isn't good for you. So it's not referring to uh, McDonald's or Burger King and those places. It could possibly be referring to those uh, depending on the context, but it's a general term for every food that isn't good for you. And we use it especially for processed foods, right? Whereas fast food is specifically used to talk about these types of restaurants, okay? So let's talk about the pros and cons of fast food. So the first big pro, the first uh, benefit of fast food is that it's very easy to get right? It's very simple. You can um, go in, order very fast, uh, and be out of there very quickly with a full meal. And you can also use the drive through In English, this phrase refers to the part of a fast food restaurant where you uh, stay in your car and you order from your car and drive up to the window and pay and they give you your food. So that's called the drive through. So that's obviously very easy. You don't even need to get out of your car if you don't want to. So it's very easy to order fast food and to pay for it and take it home. It's a very fast and easy process. So that's a good thing. Uh, and it's usually fairly cheap, um, especially compared to other sit down restaurants. So this is more accessible than just a normal restaurant. And so more people can afford it. So that's another good thing. And it's also tasty. People really like fast food. It can be very addictive because the flavoring uh, is very good usually. So uh, a lot of people just really like fast food. Uh, so that could be another good thing about it, depending on how you look at it. Uh, however, there are a lot of cons to eating fast food, of course, and uh, primarily the actual nutrients that you're eating. So fast food usually has low quality ingredients. That's maybe the biggest problem, right? I'm not saying that every ingredient that's used at every fast food restaurant is bad. I'm not saying that, but I think a lot of the ingredients that they use are a lower quality than ingredients that might be used at another restaurant or ingredients that you might want to buy from the grocery store, for example. So the problem isn't that they use chicken. The problem is that they use really 
poor quality chicken, chicken that you wouldn't normally want to buy if you had the choice, right? Or uh, the problem isn't that they use beef, it's that they use poor quality beef. And who knows what's in that beef, what they were feeding those cows, what type of hormones or antibiotics uh, are in there. You don't know that. And so uh, that's probably the biggest issue with fast food is that the quality of the ingredients uh, are suspect. In English, when we say that something is suspect, we're saying that it's a little suspicious, right? We can't trust it completely. So that's a big con. And in general, there are a lot of unhealthy options at fast food restaurants, right? So not uh, all their food is healthy, obviously. Uh, so aside from just the quality of the ingredients, the actual meals themselves are not the most um, uh, beneficial for your health, right? And of course, these meals are very calorie rich. So in just one meal, you're probably consuming tons of calories. So for people that have trouble with their weight, for example, if they eat one combo at one of these restaurants, it's probably gonna make them gain weight uh, and it will probably be um, not very beneficial overall for their health. So the cons are about the actual nutrients and the ingredients themselves. So let's talk about who eats fast food in the US. So a lot of people eat fast food on a regular basis or they go there once in a while uh, or maybe just for special occasions, not really special occasions, but if they're in a hurry and they have uh, nothing to, to eat and they just need to pick something up really fast, uh, they're in a difficult situation or they're uh, in a hurry or something, then they might pick up fast food. So it's not part of their normal routine, uh, but they don't have any other choice. So uh, a lot of people eat fast food in the US though uh, on a regular basis. Um, some people really try to stay away from fast food. Uh, people that tend to take more care of their health might not want to go to fast food restaurants. And I'm not saying that everyone who eats fast food on a regular basis is unhealthy. Uh, I don't want to uh, say that here. Um, but what I'm saying is a lot of people that are very health conscious, they don't like fast food. So you probably uh, know people like this in your country, wherever you're from. Uh, so it, it tends to be like that. Uh, the more health conscious you are, the less you like fast food. But even health conscious people also eat fast food sometimes. That's uh, a normal thing for people. So in the US, unfortunately, a lot of the poorer people, um, they view fast food as the best option because it's cheap, it's easy, it's accessible for them. So unfortunately, uh, a lot of people that are in the lower class, um, they view this as uh, something that uh, they can afford and it's maybe their only option, right? That's obviously not true for most people. They could find uh, maybe cheaper options at the grocery store, um, but uh, at these fast food establishments, they get a whole meal prepared for them, the whole combo with all the tasty food, and it doesn't require any effort. So it seems like the cheapest way to get a meal prepared for you that tastes good, right? So because that's the idea that uh, is prevalent in the US, 
a lot of poor people uh, will go eat fast food on a regular basis. I've known people that eat fast food every single day in the U.S. I'm not exaggerating. So this is unfortunately a habit that uh, a lot of people have. Um, but even people that are middle class or uh, have money, even they might eat fast food on a regular basis. So I don't want to pick on the lower class here. Uh, in English, when we say that you pick on someone, we're saying that you uh, be mean to someone or criticize someone. I definitely don't want to pick on the lower class. Uh, they have this legitimate concern about their finances, and fast food is a good option for their finances. So don't get me wrong. I don't want to criticize the lower class of people. I just want to talk about how uh, unfortunate it is that we have uh, this low quality food that so many people consume on a regular basis. And like I said, uh, it's not just the lower class. The middle class uh, also consumes a lot of fast food. Uh, you'll see uh, people that have money, um, but uh, instead of going to a healthier place or preparing their own food, they also go to fast food restaurants. And this is really common for high schoolers or younger people, for example. They might uh, not think so much about their health. And even though their parents have money, um, they still want to just go to the fast food restaurant because they like it, right? Um, so a lot of people eat fast food in the U.S. This is a very normal thing. Um, and in other countries, of course, fast food is common as well. I've talked to many students of mine in different parts of the world uh, that uh, really like fast food. They think it tastes great or they really love going to McDonald's in their country. And I know that the same fast food restaurants have food that tastes different in different countries. So a hamburger from McDonald's might taste different in the U.S. and in Spain, for example. So I thought that was uh, pretty interesting to uh, try fast food for the first time abroad uh, when I ate it in Mexico. And then also uh, when I ate it in Spain as well, I could taste uh, some difference in the fast food. It's pretty interesting. Um, and let me talk a little bit about my experience with fast food. Um, when I was really young, I didn't eat fast food. My mom did not want us to eat fast food. Uh, I don't even remember having a normal hamburger for uh, years when I was young. I think um, I discovered it a little bit later than other kids. Um, I'm not saying that hamburgers in general are fast food. Definitely not. But uh, I'm just saying that in general, I didn't even try my first hamburger until after, you know, the normal time when other kids were already eating hamburgers. So I didn't know much about fast food when I was a young child. Uh, but then eventually we started to eat a little bit of fast food. Uh, not very often, but we would go there once in a while. And when I ate the most fast food in my life was when I was in high school. Like I mentioned before, this is a very common thing in the U.S. where high schoolers will go to a nearby fast food establishment after school. And this is what I did. Almost every single day after school, a group of people would go to one of the few different fast food establishments that were right near uh, the high school. And so I didn't eat this every day, but every day there were people that I knew 
friends of mine that went to one of these places. So I had this option. Uh, I could always go with um, one of these people or with a group of people to go eat fast food. And many other high schoolers do the same thing. So that's when I ate the most fast food. I probably ate it every week because so many of my friends went there on a very regular basis. So I ate a lot of that type of food when I was in high school. So uh, obviously that wasn't uh, very good for me. Um, but as an adult, I stopped eating fast food uh, very often. Um, I ate it once in a while. And a lot of adults, uh, even if they have money, even if they have other options, they still like eating fast food because it tastes good. A lot of people have a craving for a certain fast food item from a certain restaurant, right? Uh, in English, when we say that you have a craving, we're saying that you uh, have a very strong desire for something in this moment. So um, a lot of people have that craving as an adult, even if they know they should eat somewhere else, they still eat fast food. Uh, but as an adult, I haven't eaten much fast food. I go once in a while, but I don't really have those cravings, to be honest. For me, it doesn't seem like something that I need to have in this moment. So I think that's good because I don't have this addiction, but many other people do have this addiction. So uh, that's a very common thing. But nowadays, I eat fast food once in a while uh, when we don't have a choice or we need something fast, uh, then I'll get it. If I'm not in that situation, then I don't usually eat this. And what is my favorite fast food? Uh, my favorite fast food restaurant is In-N-Out. You might have heard of this before. Uh, it's really popular in California. And a lot of people really like this fast food restaurant because their ingredients are fresh. Uh, they're actually good quality. I know this because my sister used to work there. So I was able to see that their ingredients were of a better quality than other fast food restaurants. So it wasn't quite as unhealthy. And I think it tastes better. It doesn't feel as bad to eat. Uh, you don't feel as guilty afterwards. So I like In-N-Out. Uh, I really uh, like their food. Uh, so that's my favorite place. And I also like uh, to go to McDonald's for their ice cream and their uh, shakes. I used to drink those when I was younger. So for dessert, maybe McDonald's. But uh, for the food, In-N-Out is definitely the best quality of fast food, in my opinion. All right. Well, why don't we stop there for today? I hope this episode was interesting for you, and I hope it was good practice for your listening skills. Remember that you have the transcript available for this episode in the episode description down below, so click on that if you need it. And remember that if you want my advanced podcast episodes, you can become a Listening Time family member or VIP, and you'll get two new advanced episodes every month. And if you want to ask me your questions regarding English or language learning, then become a Listening Time VIP, and you can ask me questions which I will answer every week in a video Q&A session. And if you want more free English content, then follow me on Facebook as well, because I post a lot of content there now. And if you like this podcast, please give it a five-star rating and give it a review and share it with anyone else who might find it useful and help this podcast grow. All right. Thank you for listening to this episode. <music>